statement about who drives it. Fiat does that. I like the idea that some brands uh, have this little supplement of soul, a special DNA, a special way um, to be special, to be part of something, to be relevant. So we brought uh, to the stage, uh, or to the stand, sorry, two examples of how Fiat is starting to blend into the most iconic uh, pieces of American fabric. Fashion on one hand, entertainment on the other. On the fashion side, I'm proud of our collaboration with uh, Diane von Fürstenberg. Diane is an amazing ambassador for the brand and for today, Diane shows to wrap a plus-sized model, our 500X. On the uh, entertainment uh, side, you can be in LA without a nod to Hollywood. That's why you see uh, this very unique Stormtrooper inspired 500 Electric crafted by my friend Lato uh, from Garage Italia in a galaxy far, far away, Milan. <laughs> well, it's as electric uh, as a toaster, but uh, at the same time, it is as unique and aspirational as it gets. And this is the whole point. On one hand, you have toasters, a sea of sameness, commodities, affordable commodities. On the other, um, you have the aspirational offer. It does make you uh, stand out, but you have to pay a premium to get it. So, between these two extremes, where is Fiat? Here you are, right in the middle, between affordable and aspirational. Because more than affordable, more than just aspirational, Fiat is simply inspirational. It doesn't take much to be happy. When you enjoy the simplest and truest things, Asking for nothing more than what you've got. Look at your swimming pools. They'll never be enough. Like your fancy watches and your big cars. One day you realize that what matters is not the size of your car. It's the size of your yacht. <laughs> Well, as you heard in the commercial, last year's tune and, uh, and keyword for Fiat was happy. This is why we joined hands with Mr. Farrell Williams in the first place. But let's face it, um, for us, happiness is in the numbers. And in order to reach uh, higher numbers, we need to take Fiat to a bigger market space. We need to expand uh, the customer base uh, to customers who need bigger, who need more capable, who need more all weather. So what do you do? You take the codes of a legendary American, uh, Italian uh, design and you translate it into American. You take everything you like about your brand name and you make it a venti. Well, we call it uh, 500X. It's bigger, more capable and all weather. I insist on all weather because um, there is no doubt. In the smile states, Fiat is now well established. 74% of our sales today come from the south. So the most logical uh, way to expand our reach is to take on the rest of the country, to take on winter, to take on the snow. I mean, if you are in, say, Minnesota, as much as you like our little Fiat's, you may not be comfortable driving a 500 all year long. It's a fact. Uh, but now you can definitely drive a 500X. If you are in the mountains, say Denver, as much as you love uh, your Fiat, you were forced to drive a Subaru. So now I give you the X, a perfect Fiat for a snowbird. Crossover with available all-wheel drive. Next six more weeks of winter, pretty appealing. <laughs> That's Persutone Filippo, and he's screaming to get your attention because our all-wheel drive is a big deal for Fabrodex. It is not only super capable; it also delivers the fuel economy you expect from a Fiat thanks to the disconnecting rear axle. And whether it's uh, on the snow or not, 500X is one of the safest vehicles on the road. Any road, any season. 
Look, Final X is the only one in this class with uh, IIHS Top Safety P Plus. The only one in this class with over 17 safety features, including some you wouldn't expect in a car like this. Forward Collision Warning Plus, Blind Spot Monitoring and Lane Sense Departure Warning. Oh, I know. I'm pretty much sounding like a traditional car salesman with a list of vehicle features and benefits. But uh, while we have a passion for the substance of a Fabian Dex, we must remember that it's a fiat. It also speaks to style. It's an icon. So we decided uh, to ask one of the most famous models in the world to take it for a test drive. So we didn't hire a model from Victoria's Secret. The wings couldn't fit. We didn't ask a swimsuit model to skimpy. We didn't hire Heidi Klum, too German. So <laughs> let's just come together who's left. The Fiat 500X. The perfect fashion accessory to complement any look. Even new steel. <laughs> I knew I was driving one hard tonight. Make every week feel like Fashion Week. Honestly, I think the work speaks for itself. So no, we're not going to offer a blue steel edition of the Fabulous X. Uh, but Derek Zolander will strike a pose uh, with our Fiat in the upcoming sequel. Which, after all, makes sense because as a category, the small crossovers are definitely in fashion. And Final X, since last month, is at the top of the pack with growth month over month of 91%. So the Final X uh, doesn't just add a uh, blue pill to our numbers, it takes the happiness from the original Final design and adds some freedom. I mean, the freedom to wander, the freedom to roam, the freedom to feel. This is a very fiat approach uh, to freedom. But there is another fiat connotation for freedom. The open road and the open air. The Italian art of driving. Uh, a road that takes you from a place to a state of mind. It's almost a cliche, I know, but it is one we all like. Open air, smile on your face, the note of an unmistakable engine in your ear. And automatically, uh, another iconic fiat from the 60s comes to mind. The 124 Spider. For the US, it is even more iconic than the 500 itself, uh, with over 170,000 sold in America and still today 8,000 on the roads. So, what made 124 such an icon? First, it was an attainable rear wheel drive uh, roadster, but not any roadster. This one had an incredible design from Pirin Farina's legendary Tom Jordan. Back in the days, uh, the master mixed two projects. The front came from Ferrari GTS 1964. And uh, the back came from, incredible but true, from America. It was originally designed for the Corvette 1963 Rondinet prototype. The two inspirations merged in harmony in 1966 and a legend was born. So next year, 2016, marks the 50th anniversary of the icon, but for us, for Fiat, it will mark something even more important. It will mark our return to the open air market. From the top down, it will deliver more than style, more than performance, more than even 50 years of history. It will deliver, in a very fiat fashion, a blast of freedom. <laughs>
please welcome the 2017 Fiat 124 Spider. The icon is all new, but the spirit, the one from the vintage Spider on the wall, never left. We find features, Italian charm, and a black.